I think I've got some damage, but we'll see. Okay, ready when you are, boys. Okay, powering up. Okay, brakes release, rolling. Rotate. I definitely have damage. <laughs> Get a load of your wash there. It's a bit Sorry sketch. Not yours, uh, Ollie's. We're good though. We're off. Stop it. Infield one, airborne. Let's see him climb. Okay, so keep keep going on your heading. Let me let me catch up with you first. So once you're at you're if you press two to engage BBR mode, so you get your Mac indicator. Mm -hmm. You press two. Yep. And you see underneath nine, it says A six point nine. Oh, uh, point eight four five. Sorry. Yeah. So when you get to point nine six, right. Ease the stick back up to forty five. Let me know when you're going. I'll go with you. 0.96. Yeah, ease it up so you don't want to get any alpha and any slip. So then yeah. up I'm so that your vector there. is between 40 and 50. Okay, I'm going now. Oh, wow. Well, you... So I'm a little bit above for you then, but that's okay. And then at about 16, 17,000, start rolling it off again. So that when you're at about, you level out at about 20,000. And then we go nose down five degrees. Yeah. Until we go back up to 0.96. So <laughs> you're coming up just in front of me now. So that's. Or minus five pitch. Yeah, minus five pitch. Okay. And then once you're there, then you ease it back up again to 45 degrees. Okay, power back. And then about 33. You start edging out. I think I'm a little bit heavy to get all the way up to 37, so I'll probably round out at about 35. So my airspeed's 220 at 36,000. That's pretty good. The Mirage is zooming up there. <coughs> very, very, very good in the climb. Yeah, I could imagine. Oh, wow, yeah, there you are. That looks fucking cool. So let's go and enjoy it. So if you level out at 37, or where, whatever you want to, we'll come and join you. And then I would pick the bearing off. Why don't we go check out what's going on at the sea? So if you pick a bearing of something like 300. Bearing three three zero. Three zero zero. Okay. We're just uh off to your nine o'clock. What's your airspeed, Ollie? Uh two forty. Okay. So yeah, if you set yourself up and we'll come and join you. That mirage looks fucking cool. I recommend it. Yeah. And once you're happy at your cruising altitude, if you come off after burner, just 
sit on full power, but not enough to burn. Are you still descending? I thought I had it on out hold, but... I never know when the autopilot is engaged or not. If you look down, there's a... On the bottom right, there's a whole load of rectangular grey lights, buttons, it looks mm -hmm. like, next to the big emergency vent signal. When you press yeah. A, you'll see a little red autopilot symbol light up. That's all your warning lights, basically, that whole thing of grey rectangles there. Okay, nothing seems to change. Oh well, whatever. Manually well, you have to be holding it relatively still, so it only engages when you're like plus or minus three degrees of climb okay. anyway. Right. And then that's just to engage the um, autopilot and then A, uh, uh, then uh, help altitude hold. You have to be pretty level already. So you, you haven't got it engaged again. I can see, because you, you're going down again. What's your um, uh, speed, Ollie? 250. You got your landing gear down still. Oh dear. Oh shit! All of that, I bro must have broken it. Oh yeah. We're, we're at max. We're breaking the speed barrier. Yeah, that, they would have sheared off. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. You've done a me. Glad I'm not the only one. Oh, Sorry, no. what was your airspeed? Two, 250. 250. I can't. Your your gear's not down on my screen. Oh, because I put it up now. <laughs> oh right. Well, there you go. It'll all be bent and stuff. Yeah, it'll be fucked. It might be why the autopilot didn't want to kick in. Yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck is going on. Pain out to look around with a mouse. Got a tracker. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I definitely recommend getting some head tracking. Mm. Even just the cheaper ones. Oh, getting spikes. Yeah, what's that from? That's going to be a boat or something. Oh! I'm going whoop, 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 whoop. Oh shit, me too. Yeah, go defensive. Tip five. Oh well, you really went defensive. <laughs> You can see the, uh, the thing climbing up through the clouds, the missile. So generally what you want to be 90 degrees on from it, that's called notching, which makes it difficult for the Doppler to pick you oh, up. There's loads of red below me. Yeah, that's uh, you don't want to crash land there. So I would pull up, Ollie. <laughs> If we returned at 20,000 feet or something, that would be fine. Oh, they are. Is that an SA-10? It's absolutely hammering us, isn't it? Oh, God. I'm going to get a shot down. You'll be okay. You've got so much speed. Where, where are you going now? Are you heading back towards them? You, um, you, I think, have turned back in towards them. I'm in the cloud. <laughs> yeah. I hide. So I would do a, a hard 180. <laughs> so if I was you. So stick at 17,000 feet or something like that. 18,000 and then yeah I would take a bearing of uh, 160 is it still shooting? oh I think we're being intercepted right that's not on I'm going to turn I'm heading straight out to sea bearing 270 I'm going to engage those two fuckers okay one behind me yeah you keep going defensive we're coming he's on me 
I thought it was a Sam, so it wasn't. I'm going to drop my tanks too, actually, if I can. Now I'm going to turn on him again. How far are they? Oh, it's 40, something like that. Come on, you fucker. It is an SA-10 that's engaging us. Um, but, uh, God almighty, it's just letting off fucking rounds, this thing. Right, I'll... Can you see me and Sam? Come down here. We're heading out to sea at about... To head out at 270. Full, full power. I'm not picking anything out, up out there. They're both yeah, behind him. me. He is at 8,000 feet low. That would be why. Come with me if you want to live. We need to fuck this guy up. Keep dropping him up right on it. Head towards you guys. Two of them though. I haven't got the other one. So I haven't found him. Okay, I'm gonna crank to the south. Oh, hang on a minute, I think I'm getting them. Yeah, he's turning into us now, he's at 32 miles from me. So cranking is the technique where once you've got lock, you keep them right on the edge of your radar. And you go full speed, and then at basically precisely 13 nautical miles, you turn into them at 9 Gs, invert, release your missiles and then do a 9G um, dive and if you do that you are pretty much invulnerable from their missiles apart from about there's a window of about two or three seconds I've got the front one locked yeah okay I've got both I'm gonna go in at 20 miles okay. I hope this I'm ignoring this SA-10 now but that's not gonna bite me in the arse yeah, I'm just kind of... Okay, I'm just getting missile locked from them. I've just had a missile coming from them, so... Okay, I'm cranking I'm left. Okay, I'm going to come in. Loose 2. In... Box 3. Box 3. Inverted. If you do this, you'll lose precisely 10,000 feet in elevation. So you can almost create, like, a chainsaw. Oh, you've got a missile coming in. I've got good Fox speed. Fox 2. And Fox 1 rather. I'm over. Yeah. Splash 1. Right. Turning in. Let's move for re-engage. It's like there, that, that missile was right on my tail, but I kept so much energy. It just couldn't couldn't beat me. Do we got them both? I think we got, yeah, I think so. I think we've got both of them. Right, I'm gonna come off That's the situation where the F fifteen is king. I've got a master annoying. caution which I can't seem to switch off. Oh that's that means you've probably been hit. Press F two, see if your wings are still there. <laughs> yeah, it's all still there. I think that's what I meant. What's your master caution? Maybe fuel. Oh dear. Fuel. Have you, uh, are your engine, what's your engine fan speed? Yeah, I'm about to run out of fuel. Yeah. It should have said you were bingo. Okay, let's, let's do a nice emergency landing. Yeah, what's the hardest? Right, you're off there. I'm bingo as well, actually. I've got... actually I'm okay for fuel. Oh, I'm out. Glide it in. Land. Glide it in, you'll, you'll make it to, uh, make to land. You'll make it into land, though. I don't know where land is, I don't know which way I'm heading. We turned away from the land, the land's off to your right. Yeah, I don't know where it is, do I? <laughs> look I can't out look the around. window! I can't, look I can't see! <laughs> Honestly, I can't Turn. see my dials, and I can't see out the bloody window. Turn 90 degrees right. What are your settings like? Redders. Yeah. Well, we can play around with those because it's quite important to see all the dials and things. Right, we'll, we'll guide you in 
and we'll get you to shore. I know, because I'm gonna, I'm stalling already. I'm not gonna make that. I expected more from you, piss. Can't make that. Well, at least admire the graphics as you crash. It's always very pretty out there. Uh, okay, best glide speed will be about 180. Are you below the clouds? Is that you? Yeah. About to hit the water, really. He's got. We're 500 foot to the water. Here we go. Where is he? I don't know. I'm about to hit the water. Are you already hitting the water? You must have pulled. Here we go, boys. Godspeed. You're facing the wrong fucking way, you pissing. Oh. <laughs> 90 degrees to the right. Yeah, that right. The other right. The right where there's the giant continent of Asia. A terrible, terrible wingman. <laughs> I do struggle with left and right, to be fair. Poor <laughs> wingman. Um. Well, that was. Eventful. Pearson died. My uh, guy that I ejected on the runway is still standing there. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, isn't it, when they're like that? I don't burn through that much fuel. Yeah, they do. If you stick that on. Christ. Well, we can. Also, there's a thing about never going into uh, an engagement with fuel tanks on. Um, because they add so much weight. It... No, I didn't think. I don't think they refueled me when I asked. I think you might be right. Too. Did you slide the fuel slider up to max? Yes. <laughs> Maybe we just left too early. I'm going to land at Colkey, by the way, son. Rather than I think so. I went yeah, with like seventy percent fuel. Yeah, you probably had less than that actually after that other flight. Yeah. Piece of shit. I literally so far haven't got a clue where I'm going, what I'm doing, how to get people. It's you, you, it takes time. You'll spend like as much time as you do flying watching YouTube videos on how to fly. I'm just gonna do the uh, couple of the training missions maybe. Yeah, the training missions tell you everything, the rest you can then just practice. Yeah. Was it the training missions that you downloaded, which are the good ones, though? Yes, they were very good. Yeah. I'll talk you through it. Are the default ones any good, or are they pretty bad? There aren't any. Yeah, well, <laughs> that would be a problem. I'm about what? Gear up. <laughs> 16,000. Uh, 16 miles. Oh, fucking hell. I hate my three times table. How far, how high do I need to be at 16 miles, Ollie? For what? From a runway. Lower oh, no, yeah. Up. Well, I wouldn't worry about that. Do a step, step descent. Oh, you don't need to like do a three degree from sixteen miles, do you? I don't fucking know, do I? <laughs> no. Just come down to like I'm asking, asking how the land from man just crashed into the sea and didn't know where the land was. Then <laughs> what? And didn't know where the land was. I didn't. No, I've got a clue. Because <laughs> I was trying to look around my mouse, and then every time I did that, I was fucking like, oh Christ, I don't know how fast I'm going now. So the mouse is a bit weird. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, no, it is. And then every now and then, I, I the mouse stops working when I'm halfway around looking, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. I have to try again with the VR. VR, I find, uh, I find far less clarity on VR on the dials, but there's uh, there's individual settings, so you can turn up the fidelity on. I think the VR your... will be fucking annoying actually, now you said that. You, you can turn see the key on your instruments really high, because it doesn't take that much processing, so you can turn yeah. up the graphics loads. I don't need. 
Yeah, but certain things, there's a, a, we can mess around with that if you want, because I watched the thing to... Well, at the moment, when I load a VR, it just doesn't work. Yeah. So, no, no, no idea. I do, do you do it through Steam? Yeah, uh, yeah. I really want the RLS localizer to work. Yeah, but this one's worked. I'll just pick this one up. Yeah, it only works on some of them. So if you go F10 and look on the map and you click on it, you'll see both runways and it'll tell you which ones ILS has. Uh, which ones have ILS and which ones don't. Yeah. Textbook landing to smell it. Oh, let's land this thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. What happened all? Right, I'm going to call it. Yeah, me too. Another crash landing. Springfield 1-1, one, one. Darkstar 1-1, one, one. bra. Request one, refueling. 4-130 at... Request Bloody hard. Yeah, it's a sim. Definitely a sim. But yeah, it is immensely satisfying once you get it.